Now I want to start painting this. Now the look that I'm going for for this particular chair um, is like a kind of like a Mexican boho type of look. Um, I watched a video on somebody refinishing some furniture and a real size furniture, actual size, and it looks so good. I don't know if it's going to translate in miniature, but we're going to give it a try. And if not, I love the colors anyway. So since this is like a, um, what do you call this? Like a wicker rattan type of caning uh, on this chair. I'm going to go for golden sunset on that. Probably highlighting it with some antique white. Um, I pulled out a bunch of colors here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them all, but I have... Uh, flaming coral and barn red some burnt umber just to give it some definition at the end and a couple of blues now uh, this folk art is kind of kind of old so I don't know how well it's gonna do but I love the color it's came in blue and if case this is too old. <laughs> um, I have some cool blue from Apple Barrel and some too blue from Apple Barrel. Um, so we're going to give that a try. So I'm going to make up my little palette and I'll be right back. Okay, you're going to hear um, some kitten play going on behind me. Um, so sorry about that, but I'm they are in my room. I am in their room. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is, you can see that this color is not that much different, but we're going to give that a try and paint that over. It's a little different. Once I do, once I do, uh, put some burnt umber over it to kind of give it some definition. Hopefully, it'll. Um, look a little bit different than the original color. So I'm going to do two coats of this, letting it dry in between because I want to make sure I get full coverage, and get in all of those little cracks, even though I'm hoping that the burnt umber fills those little cracks and gives it some, some age, you know, some little dirt factor in those little canes. Um, I want to make sure that I get some full coverage. All right, so I'll be right back. So while I was waiting for the um, golden sunset to dry so I can do two coats, I went ahead and I did the barn red coat as well. And um, I did two coats. I don't know if you can, maybe you can if I get real close. See that? The pieces actually have, on the ladder back, have like a wood grain to it, which is pretty amazing for such a tiny little plastic piece from the 80s. <laughs> um, like I said before when I was assembling it, it's really, really well made. And I think, you know, I mean, there's so much you could do with it. Um, this piece alone, I mean, this red looks really nice. I'm I'm sure the stain would look really nice, too. You can make a wood stain. Uh, I don't know what color it is. It doesn't really, I don't think it says on it. Um, <laughs> the kittens are in their little crinkle sack uh, behind me. So that's where I am at this point. Oh, I got to touch up a little bit underneath here. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to go on to adding, uh, this flamingo coat, which I thought was, would be a little bit more orangey. It really is flamingo instead of like a coral. I mean, I could maybe try to mix it, but we'll see. I'm going to use such a little bit of it that, uh, it probably won't even matter, but. So let's wait for this to dry and we'll get moving on the other, the next color. So what I did was I tried to mix a little yellow. This is just plain old, 
hello, into the uh, coral, flamingo coral color. And it came out more orangey. So I'm going to just use that. And I'll probably use a little bit of the flamingo too. Now I'm just, what I want, this is a great look just like this with this red can have make it look like it's like a red cherry stain look to it but my look is the boho look that I want to do for uh, a certain room so right now I'm just going to randomly tap some places um, I wanted to have a look of a chair that's been around a while and has been repainted a bunch of times. Uh, the thing is, is that this is not kind of more opaque on the red. It's not really showing up as bright as I wanted it to, but it's okay. I'm going to go over it. The chair is going to be mostly blue. And you'll see when I'm done, if it goes well, hopefully it goes well. If not, I'm going to just paint it back red because <laughs> the red is really, is really nice. Okay. So just like I said, just some random spots kind of everywhere. Um, I'm not sure if, I mean, if this was a real chair that I was doing maybe for my home, I, and I, I have painted a lot of furniture. Um, I would probably prefer to use maybe some crackle paint, but I really don't think that crackle paint on something this small is really going to show up. So we're going to try at the end to do some things to kind of help it look a little more. Did I miss that spot with the red? You know what? It's possible that the red is even lifting off. I'm not sure. Interesting. Now, these things aren't primed. It might not be a bad idea to have sprayed it. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. I was off screen. I needed to needed to get it up close and personal to see. Um, I feel like I missed some spots, but I really went over it pretty well and, and really checked it out before I even came back on camera to see, you know, if I did get most of it. So it might not be a bad idea to prime it, maybe with some spray primer um, first. I'm going to have to coat it, I guess, at the end because I feel like... See, I was holding on to this leg here, and as I was twisting it around, I feel like I just rubbed the paint off. But no worries, because I'm going to keep painting this, so it's going to have several layers of paint. Because that's the look I want. I want it to look like, you know, it's been painted so many times, so many times, it's... Maybe it's even been uh, out in the rain, out in the weather a little, a little bit, and uh, some dry air making it look worn. So that's the look I'm going for. So I'm okay. I'm okay if it. Uh, I mean, basically, that's what you want, right? You want you want it to look worn. So, hopefully, that helps a little. All right, I'm gonna let that dry because I just kind of did it these spots a little thick. Um, so, I'm gonna let it dry. Also, I I I kind of want to do a second coat of this orange. Check with clean fingers. Um. Before I put my my finger down, I want to make sure it's clean. <laughs> because apparently I am 
a very messy painter. Um, so I'm doing it kind of thick, but I, I'm going to, uh, just to get it a little bit brighter in these spots. And I might hit, I'm going to hit a few places with some coral on top and randomly. Maybe let's get some coral on the back here. I kind of like it up, up on these railings because maybe the blue, once I do the blue over it, might not cover that. So maybe some of this. So the piece that, the video that I watched, she was actually adding um, an additive to the paint to give it texture but again this is a miniature so really don't need anything to add because the, the paint itself is you can make texture with you know you could just leave it leave it to dry a little thicker Pick it up, but ah, you know what? I could always repaint the tan. I feel like I have to do another layer on that anyway. So, here's what we got we got the three colors so far. The coral is looking pretty nice. Like I said, I'm going to probably go over second coats on, on some of these spots, but right now it doesn't seem to make sense. But... It will, hopefully, <laughs> in the end. Uh, give the let's see. Now I do have to repaint it because I did get I did get some red on the seat, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. Do a second coat, and I'll come back. So while I'm waiting for the chair to dry, um, with all the second coats and stuff that I've done. So hi, Linguini. She's uh, decided to join me. <laughs> um, I found I have this old plastic. I can't remember the maker of this, but um, it has like this faux marble top. Um, I got this off. It's it's kind of beat up. It's missing a uh, a little knob. Um, it's been spray painted. There's a little overspray up here. You can see the bottom is sprayed. The back is the probably the original. Well, let's look inside. I think that. Yep. Um, yeah, it was like an original. The color is like a like a cream. Maybe it was a white. I don't know. And it just turned. Yeah, maybe it was a little white. It looks white inside. Um, so I decided I'm gonna paint it. I started painting it red, of course. Just showing it to you, I just got it all smudged and stuff. So I'm going to give this a good paint of red and uh, maybe do the same technique to this. Because it looks pretty yucky black and chippy like that. I mean, I, I like chippy, but <laughs> let's see what it looks like when we're done. So now I know why I got this piece so cheap. <laughs> Besides it being repainted. Um, now I don't feel bad about painting over it, um, is that this was broken. This drawer is like glued in there. Um, and there's another crack piece right here. So I don't feel bad about it. Um, I would have felt bad <laughs> because I think it's a, from a, like a vintage collection. Um, I forgot where I saw a bunch, somebody Oh, I think it was Whitney LeBray. Um, had a whole haul of, or a uh, collection of some plastic dollhouse furniture. And I think that's what this is from. But I don't feel bad about it because, like I said, it's it's damaged and it doesn't really need to be repaired.
All right. I'll paint these drawers and come back and finish the chair. Okay, so here we are. Two coats ready for the next. Oh, well, it's still a little tacky. But anyway, I wanted to show you. I also do the drawers and uh, the sides and everything with just touches. I do like the way the red looks on the black though. Um, so if you're using this barn red on some plastic, maybe it would be good to prime it with a black. Um, it really makes it a nice deep color. I'm really not usually a red mahogany fan, but I'm, I'm really liking this deep red. And uh, who, not everybody paints with a kitten on their shoulder, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go for these blues. I'm going to set up my palette and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am using my folk art. It turns out it's still in really great um, condition. You can see how nice and thick it is. It still, it stands up like a good acrylic paint would as opposed to the apple bow, which is brand new, and uh, kind of wet and puddly. So this should be interesting. So I'm using a completely dry brush. Um, it's kind of like ratty and, you know, uneven and stuff. So I am just going to literally dip the tips in. I'm going to start with the Cayman Blue. I'm even going to blot it a little. And what I'm going to do is I am go obviously going back for more paint because that was nothing. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about going in for dry brushing, if you if you haven't really done a lot of it, which I have not, I watch a lot of it, is... Um, just go in lightly first. You can always add more paint. This is not as bright a blue as I would have liked. Um, but it could just be... That I'm not putting enough on. Yeah, I think that could be it. So, of course, I'm getting it all over the cane seat. But that's okay. I can always go back and paint over that. I'm not concerned. My goal right now is just to get some good coverage. And then what I'm going to do right now, because I have this little wet wipe right here that I've been cleaning my mess is up with is I'm going to just keep blotting it away. Now remember, I want it to be mostly blue. I kind of liking that. I wish my lighting was better. I'll work it out. Eventually I'll get some a better setup. So, again, just kind of, I don't want to say messily, slaphazardly, just kind of putting it on. But that's basically what's happening. I'm not going to care if I get it on my spots I don't want it on. I can always wipe it off or repaint. Don't forget the back. Now, this is what I meant by, you're not going to see all of those colors that I put on earlier. 
just going to see hints, and that's the goal, is just to see some hints through the blue. Now I'm going to kind of... I'm, I'm going to save this one for last because I, I need somewhere for my finger to be. See, I'm not taking much off, but you can see it definitely is coming off. So I'm thinking I want a little in here. I don't know if you could hear the kittens purring. They tired themselves out and they're sleeping on a bed behind me. And they're all purring really loudly. <laughs> now, what I'm noticing is the camera is not really showing The results here. I'm probably at the end will um, maybe get maybe I should go outside. It's kind of a nice day. Finally, it's not oppressive heat, um, and there's some good, decent sunshine. And I can go outside and take a picture. Sometimes. Taking a picture is better than seeing it on video. All right. I'm rather happy with that. I don't know. I'm afraid to go in with the dark blue. I don't want it to get too overpowered. I really love this... Um, came in blue, this turquoise, oceany blue color. Um, hopefully you can see what's happening, where some of the yellow and the coral is coming through. Oh, i got to touch up that. And I can always go back while this is still wet. You see it's getting some texture to it from just adding it the paint and stuff. So um, I'm going to just take a tiny bit of the darker blue. I mean literally just oh, I covered in paint. Uh, just a couple of the hairs on the brush. Literally just dipping a few hairs in to get some on because this paint is really sounds silly but it's really wet so it's really gonna smear I think so I'm just going to tap it on tap it here and there And I think I'm going to go back and tap the coral on like this too, so that it kind of looks like chips. You can't, you cannot, um, well maybe you can, I, maybe I just don't know. Sorry, my knee just shook the camera. Um, how to create chips, you know, like, like if you were to do crackle paint. Um, on a normal piece of furniture. I don't know how you would do it, really, besides just kind of dabbing it on, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm trying to make it look chippy and weathered and repainted a million times. I like the way that looks. That 
one little finial. It's got all the colors in it. And soon I'm going to go back with the blue again. Just, I do like the way the the coral is showing through. Again, the lighting is not great. Um, you're not exactly seeing it the way I'm seeing it on camera. So, oh, I like the way that looks. Can you see the way putting the coral back on and just kind of going back and forth? I like that. I like the way that looks. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting, since this brush has kind of crazy hair sticking out everywhere, I'm kind of just getting it in. You can see I'm going to tap a couple of hairs in here. Now remember, I mean, this tiny little hair sticking out of the brush. Hang on, let me get it so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. See the, it's kind of tipped with the coral. I mean, that's pretty big for this little piece of furniture. Break that up a little bit. Add a little bit of the darker blue. And we'll go back to some coral. I don't think I need to go back with the red because the red is really showing through strong. I hope you can see it because it looks really cool in person. All right, so I am going to now let this dry a little bit. Oh, that's so I love it. Really did not think this was going to come out as good as it is. I'm so excited. It's different. It, it is different than, than, than what I thought I was doing. But the end result is I love it very much. So I'm going to let this dry. I am going to do the same principle on the dresser. And uh, I'll come back. Okay, I know this video is more about the chair than this dresser that I just decided on a whim to paint as well. Um, basically, here's where I stand so far. And I decided to actually go on this piece with what I wanted kind of on the chair and the reason I'm not doing it on the chair is because I don't think it'll have the same effect don't think this this piece is substantial enough to see what I'm the difference that I'm doing okay so I coated everything with a quick brush of the um, Cayman blue and now what I'm doing is I'm gonna kind of Go in with the true blue halfway. I'm going to kind of blend it. So I'm making it kind of oceany. You know, like the different kinds of blues and the way like a sunrise would, would be in like different layers or levels in the sky. So I'm trying to do it like that, and I'm going to go back 
with a little more of the caiman in the middle. Uh, that's this is why I'm, I'm painting it with the drawers back in. Uh, if the drawers get painted shut, then they get painted shut. But <laughs> right now, I don't know if you can see how cool that looks. Whoops. I'll swipe that off. I don't want the dark blue up there. Of course, that wiped everything. So, let's blot this brush again. Time to dry it. Again, I wanted to have that two-toned look. That I like. That's what I saw on the piece um, on a video of re oops, see I did it again. Refinishing a piece that I actually have an old um, it's kind of like a curio cabinet kind of dining room uh, hutch ish piece. It's, uh, I love it. It's in my living room. It's not in here, but, um, I, uh, kept thinking I want to do this to that. So if I play with the miniature furniture, <laughs> maybe I'll get inspired to do that. Now you're not going to see, I guess you're not going to see as much as the Unless I go back and do this. I might have to go in a little bit with the flamingo. Now, the fact that this was, I guess, spray painted. Um, is having an effect on the way it's blotting up like that but it is adding a little texture to it oh, it's so hard to see and now of course for the first time in like three weeks I'm looking at the sky and it I think they said it was gonna rain today so it actually could be raining so the Sun is going down which is not helping the lighting at all Which is weird because I do have uh, this pretty big bright work light. I'm just going to touch it lightly. It turns out I'm really liking the flamingo. Um, effect. I'm just trying to right now hit the high spots with it, like really, really lightly, like these ridges down the middle. It's such a pretty piece. Now, when I saw this, I bought this from my my favorite um, affordable dollhouse furniture on Facebook. Uh, I just dropped the brush and painted my shirt. Oh boy. Um, I saw this piece and I thought, oh, it's so pretty, but I didn't realize it was plastic and I didn't realize that it was in such bad shape, but I didn't pay a lot either. I think I, I think I paid three fifty for it or something. And, um, immediately, Wow, this is looking so great. <laughs> oh, is it weird that I'm surprised that it looks so good? Probably. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have ever 
started something and thought, oh gosh, I'm never going to be able to to do this. And then it turns out it's maybe not what you had in your mind, but it looks so much better. I'm going to go in with a little, take a little red too. Oh no! This is probably dry enough, but I don't really want to spin it. Part of part of doing a paint technique is knowing when to stop, right? So I think I'm going to sit and let this dry as I keep touching. Um, yeah, and then I can always go back and add more. I am going to actually stop, put the brush down, um, I'm going to stop and I'm going to put this under the light so that I can try to get some good pictures for you because I want you to see it at this stage at this point. So I'm going to take a picture and I'll insert it in the video. Okay, so I am happy with the way that the blue looks. I'm also trying the flash on my camera so and to try to block off the distractions I have a little white display board it's not making it any brighter but at least it's focusing more on the chair so hopefully that's working um, I have a one kitten in one arm and a kitten on my shoulder <laughs> so uh, basically what I've done was I've take, taken some burnt umber and a lot of water over here and um, I'm kind of gonna make like a like a little wash for the seat now I don't want it to completely cover it and I'm going to now proceed to try and hmm, not disturb the kitten in my arm but just kind of blot it again I can always go over it if I don't like it it's a little dark to me but I'm also going to make try to dry brush some highlights but yeah look looks like some years of dirt got in there it looks does look better off camera as it always seems to be well that looks all right I guess on camera not too bad um, I'm go also going to do the bottom because the bottom is also imprinted with that rattan pattern so I'm just gonna kind of go quickly and maybe get it in the crevices too maybe that I'm liking the way that looks so I'm going to further kind of distress a little where some dirt would be. I mean, the chair doesn't really need any more colors, but <laughs> this is just a, uh, it's such a light wash that I'm hoping it doesn't make a difference, but it'll kind of like settle in the cracks a little bit. Now remember, this is the wood grain too, so I'm just going crazy. Just take a little off the top. Let it settle into the grain. And that's the best part about making these washes is that it could settle in. You could take it off. You could repaint it over the top. Doesn't have to be 
uniform. It can just be kind of random. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Maybe do some more in the crevices in here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. We'll come back and we'll maybe try and do some highlights. You can see it definitely looks more like a natural rattan now, or wicker or whatever you want to call it. Caning is what it's called. So it does look a little bit more natural than that other color. So I'm happy with this uh, sunset, golden sunset color. Looks good. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm doing the same thing here. So this is dry, just kind of, I love the way the flamingo looks, but it it's just a little bright. So I'm just going to kind of dull it down a little bit, especially in spots like this. I can get the brush in there. And that's in our oh, this side does have that. Huh. So just like distressing it a little bit. It's good to do it in layers if you don't know how distressed you want stuff to look. And just do it a little bit at a time, that's all. I'm keeping, I think for, for right now, I'm keeping this faux marble top. I kind of feel bad painting over it. Even though it does have a little speckling overspray, I tried to, uh, I tried to really wipe it down, but. And then, if you can see right here, where that piece was broken, um, remember this was beige inside. I uh, went and I painted the back of that red. So you see how it gets kind of see in there? Of course, we're zooming in, so. Oh, it's nice with the light zoomed in. And actually, I can almost see a little bit better now like this. I'm painting it by looking at the camera. Okay, so let's look at this now real close up. I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue inside here. Now that I'm seeing it. Just to brighten the blue up a little bit more. Yeah. The idea is that the, basically somebody wanted a blue chair. And, you know, just through the years, the, ch the, the other colors are showing through. So I don't want it to look like spotted. And I'm sure I could do this all day, going back and forth. Um, trying to find a happy balance of colors. Now, I went in and I took some of this other third blue color. I kind of added it. It brightens it up a little bit. So I think I'm going to call it right there. I'm going to have to seal this in some way. I have to look through my Mod Podge and see if I have a matte Mod Podge because I don't want this glossy. I want it to kind of be aged. I 
So yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Did I not say I was going to call it? Yeah. I'm having too much fun. Wish I had other things to paint. But, of course, it, you know what would look good? Like a sunset. Sunset colors. I just, I don't know why I mentioned that before, but now I'm just thinking, um, like doing like orange, yellow, and red. That would be pretty. But that's for another time. I do have some dollar store furniture that I'm planning on playing with and painting. But uh, this was for my, uh, I'm making like a boho room. Um, so yeah, just got to find some Mod Podge and we'll see what that looks like all finished. <laughs>